In this video, I'm gonna walk you through accessing your courses in eCadence and offering some tips on how to navigate the course and track your own progress. When you log into eCadence, the first page you'll see is your dashboard. There's a horizontal navigation at the top of the page. This is a global eCadence navigation, meaning the navigation bar displays on every page in eCadence. By default, your dashboard displays all of your classes in a series of cards that include a course title and a course image. Click on any of these cards to access that course. You can also access your courses outside of this dashboard view by clicking on the Select Course dropdown. Selecting a course takes you to that class homepage, and each course displays a sidebar navigation menu. You'll see different options on this menu depending on the design of the course, but most courses will include a modules link. If your course has been organized by modules, you'll see the course content organized into folders. Click on each folder to reveal the content of that module. If the module content is already revealed, click on the module title to hide the content. You can enter the course by clicking on the title of any page, assignment, or discussion. You might find it helpful to click on the first page in a module. And when you enter a page from the module view, you'll see next and previous buttons displayed at the bottom. Using these buttons is an easy way to navigate through the course, and you can always return to the modules view to access different content directly. You'll also notice that most pages can be marked as complete. Click this button after reading and completing activities on a page. I'm going to click the Mark as Completed button now to show you how using this feature can help you easily track your own progress. After clicking Mark as Completed, a green check mark displays. When you return to the modules view, the status of the page also displays as completed. Pages that have not yet been marked as complete display a status of incomplete. So when you're in that modules view, you can see a list of everything and what you have and have not done based on what's marked complete or incomplete. This feature is especially useful when you need to leave and return to the course. If you accidentally click mark as completed or realize you still need to complete an activity on the page, you can always click that completed button and the status will return to incomplete. For discussions, assessments, and assignments, the status will display as unsubmitted until you post a comment or complete the activity and click submit. The modules view also displays a radial progress bar noting the number of activities completed out of the total in the course. The sidebar menu in each course will also allow you to access a complete list of all discussions or assignments by clicking on either of those links. For example, when I click discussions, I see a list of all the discussions in the course. This view also displays a status of unsubmitted or submitted, as well as the number of posts made to that discussion. So just to review, click on the modules link to see a list of everything that you need to do in that course. And when you're in a page, mark it as complete so that it shows as completed in this list view to easily track your progress.